Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Roku Floodlight Camera SE and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now you're going to want to do this for one of two reasons. The first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues with this camera, you know, not connecting to your devices or if it's not working, if it's not recording properly, a hard reset can fix a lot of these issues. Now, you're going to need to set it up again, um, and that's the second reason you might want to do this. If for whatever reason you're just trying to get this camera back to the way it was when it came out of the box, we can go ahead and do that really simply. We're just going to um, need access to two things. First, we have this indicator light here, and then second, we need to access the setup button, which is on the base, the bottom of the camera. So you'll need to remove it from, the, from this base here um, so that you can access the reset button, or not the reset button, sorry, the setup button. And so what you're going to do is you want to make sure it has power to the device. You're going to access the setup button and press and hold the setup button for 10 seconds. Oh, I forgot to mention, before you do this, you should remove the SD card from the camera. But anyway, so press and hold that setup button for 10 seconds, at which point you can release the button and just keep an eye on this indicator light here. After about 30 seconds, you should see if this, set, if this reset was successful, it will, the whole thing will actually turn off and turn back on. And then this light will be flashing red, indicating that it's entered setup mode, and you can go ahead and set it up as a new camera.